Hello? Hi, it's Roy. I left a note on your car last week. Oh, yes, Roy. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Um, where did you, where did you hit the car? Well, I didn't hit it exactly. I, I hooked up a chain to the axle because I was trying to pull it with my car. And oh, the, why would... The chain kind of, it, it went, it kind of hit the bottom of the bumper as I was pulling it. Oh, okay. So you, you were, you weren't trying to pull my car, right? No, I was, but it didn't work because I drive one of those little smart cars, just a two seater. And it just, it wasn't strong enough to pull your car because it was in park. Okay, why did you want to pull my car? I don't know. Just, you know, no reason. You wanted to hook up a chain and, and pull my car for some reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't, it, to do. it wouldn't work because I, I drive a really small car, so it, your car was stronger than mine. Um, I guess you're not a local person, hey? Well, uh, I... Th- no, well, no, not really. I'm from Washington. Oh, you're from Washington. Okay. Yep. So the only thing I'm trying to, I'm still trying to get my head around this is that why, why did you want to hook up a chain to my car and pull it just for something to do? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about it. I was just, just wanted to pull it. You just wanted to pull the car? Yeah, I wanted to pull okay. it down the street. You wanted to pull the car down the street? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this something that you do like on a regular basis? Or oh no, no, not usually. No, just, just yours. Just mine. Yeah, well, I just got the chain. I, I was just really itching to test it out. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I I think the car is actually okay. Oh, okay. So That's I don't good. think we. Yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Okay. All right. But well, yeah, it's just it's up underneath on the bottom of the bumper. You can't really see it. But if if it's a problem, just let me know, and I'll give you my insurance information. Okay, and you know what? Maybe that's not a really good thing to do in the future. Oh, I don't know. Like pull people, pull people's cars with well, a, with a chain. I think I should pull smaller cars because my car is pretty small and it it, it doesn't ha- it only has so much power to pull cars. Okay, yeah, I, I hear you. So you know what? Maybe I should get your address and uh, just for information purposes. Oh no, okay? you don't need that. Nah, you don't need it. I don't need your address. Nah. Are, you, are you coming back up this way anytime soon, or? Well, yeah, I live. I'm kind of living in the area right now. You're living in the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for work. Oh, okay, all right. Well, just do me a favor, okay? And yeah, don't don't pull my car. Well, I, I won't because I I can't. I would, but I can't. Oh, you know, okay. my car's too small. Okay. It's yeah, a, that's just not a it's not a cool thing to do. It's a smart car. Okay. So yeah, you will. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. Have a good. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Kisses. Life is like a prank call in Roy, New Mexico. Collect calls, ding cars, racing. Walmart customers. Can I take your head, please? Fortune and testing. No stop. Have to pay the stupid bitch fee. Snowplow. Roy, New that's my name, it's Roy who snowplow. Danger, watch for scammers. I'm the rising corporate manager, and I need your V card for my snowplow. It's every day on PLA, it's snowplow. Show, sure. tell your kids to shut the fuck up, snowplow. Show, sure. I'm going to call the final boss now, snowplow. Show. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is October 15th, 2019, and this is episode 587. It's brought to you by another prank call show, Tokius Pocus, Jesse Lobster, The Stunning Kruger Effect, and Jim Dusky. Those are some of the many supporters over at patreon.com slash phone losers who get extra shows and stuff every single week. Why haven't you signed up yet? What the hell? It's only $5 a month for over 200 extra shows at this point. I don't know who you think you are just freeloading all the time. I have a couple of announcements before we get started. Announcement number one, there's a brand new Brad's Cactus Shack out. I think it may have been released on Sunday, maybe? I found some old recordings where I prank called people back in the 1980s at payphones using my computer's robotic voice to talk to him and telling them that I was a top secret computer in the White House. Of course, 
The recordings sound terrible, you know, like terrible quality. But if you want to go hear them, you can do that by going to notla.com and listening to the latest episode of Brad's Cactus Shack. Announcement number two, there is a brand new PLA poster out. And that can be found by going to zazzle.com slash phone losers. Wait, let me make sure that URL is correct and that the posters are available. Yes, there they are. PLA posters. It's a bunch of Nick Caesar art that I made a big collage out of, I guess you'd call it. And it looks pretty amazing if you like Nick Caesar's art, which I do. I haven't ordered one yet, but I plan to maybe, uh, I don't know, after this weekend. There are five different versions of it. All the art's the same. It's just the background is different. And the poster is expensive. I'm sorry. I'm not getting that money. That all goes to Zazzle. But the poster, you know, it's like a full-size poster, three feet by two feet, and it's $23. And you can make it cheaper by getting a smaller poster if you want to do that. I know I could get it cheaper if I just printed them out myself and sold them myself, but I don't want to sit here and mail out posters all day when I could be doing shows. So that's why I'm using Zazzle. I apologize for the price, but $23 isn't completely terrible for a full-size Phone Losers poster. And Zazzle always has those coupons, you know, 25% off is what it says right now. Hopefully you'll see one of those when you log in and you can use that. But I made it as cheap as they would let me. And that's the minimum, $23.40. Please don't hate me or Nick Caesar for the price. Maybe I should just make the files available so you can just take the files and send them to Walmart to print out a poster. Gad claims that Walmart has really good poster prices. But I'm going to make this today's show art if you want to see what the poster looks like. It's pretty much the best poster ever. And now that I have the poster done, I can start working on the other thing that I promised that I've never delivered on, which is the vinyl record. We'll see if that ever happens. Thank you, Nick Caesar from scary-art.com for letting me use all this art for the poster. And, and you know, like drawing shit for us for four years now or however long it's been. I can't believe how many cactus pictures we have at this point. Also, please visit Nick Caesar's spread shirt and his Patreon and his website. I think it's scaryart.spreadshirt.com and scary-art.com. That's the minus sign. I'm assuming his Patreon is patreon.com slash scaryart. He has a ton of PLA material on his Spreadshirt site. So if you want a PLA shirt, that's the place to go. Don't go to my shitty Spreadshirt. Go to Nick's. Uh, Announcement number three. There is a PLA meetup this weekend. It's going to be at the Retro Gaming Expo in Portland, Oregon. You can find out more information about that by going to RetroGamingExpo.com. We're just kind of piggybacking off of their convention. I'm going to be there. A few other people are going to be there. King Richard from another prank call show, he's going to be there. As well as other people. That happens in just three days now. And we plan to be there on Saturday. That's the only day I bought a ticket for. I'd say we're going to be there from probably noon until about 5 p.m. So if you're there, find me. Say hello. I will tweet about where we are. If there are tables, we might just hang out at tables for a few hours. Occasionally taking breaks to go play video games because there's going to be a bunch of arcade machines there. So come and hang out with us at the Retro Gaming Expo. It should be fun, I hope. I think today I'm going to start out doing some of those crossed line phone calls. Didn't I recently say I was going to do a whole show of those? Or wait, no, it wasn't that. It was something else, wasn't it? I can't even remember. Anyway, I've always wanted to do some more of those uh, calls where I'm in mid-conversation with somebody when they pick up the phone and one of the people is them. I found a website of practice movie scripts that I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to start with this one where a lady is very unhappy about her wooden floors that some contractor is setting up for. her. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just, you know, keep listening. It'll all make sense soon. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, uh, Suzanne. Yeah, this yeah. is Suzanne. Hey there. Um, I, I just, you know, we still need to buff and polish out these wooden floors, and make final fixes to the walls. How long is this going to take to do that? Uh, you mean to be completed? Yeah, finished and done. Uh, about two weeks, I guess. It's hard to hear you over that TV. Uh, you got, you got a TV. Wait, you know what? There's something. Well, I, there's another I, uh, person answering. I'm sorry. Who's yeah. that? I, I I don't I don't know who that is. Is she on your end? No. No. no hello. I, I, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. This is Suzanne. Who's this? I'm Suzanne. Well, she's she's not on my end. I don't know who she is. Uh, well, well, she's definitely gonna be on your end. She's not over here. I'm at my house. Okay. What do you want? Well, I'm I'm just calling to tell you about your your floors. For, uh, what about them? 
we just need to buff out and polish the wooden floors and make final fixes. I know, you already told me that. I said that was fine. Um, but I, I don't know who this other lady is on the phone with the loud TV. Is that you with the loud TV or is that her? Oh, it's not me. I, I don't know. It must be... Well, that didn't work out. Let me try her right back. Hello? Hello? Hey, Suzanne, we got disconnected somehow. Yeah, I don't know. My phone just disconnected. I, it just hung up. I don't know why. Oh, that, that's okay. Um, now, so, wait a minute. I have to stop. Who, sir, who are you calling? Ma'am, who, who are you? My, my name's Suzanne. Like, I, I just picked up my phone. My phone rang. And my name is Suzanne. Well, my name's Suzanne. So you need to get off my line. I, I've got this guy. He's doing my floors, and I'm just trying to, you know, answer the Where the phone. are you from? What do you mean, where am I from? What state? Are you from Connecticut? Ken, is this? Huh? Yeah, my, my name is Ken. I'm, I'm Ken Kniff. I'm from Connecticut. I'm, I'm doing your floors. All right. Now, the, I disconnected you. I am Suzanne. I'm in Connecticut, and I, am not ha I don't have any floors oh, that are being done. Th this is not true. She, she is not Suzanne. I'm Suzanne. She, Where she, are you from? I, well, that's none of your business, but I, I live on Road. And and you you like I don't know who you are. What what are you doing on our phone line? I'm just I'm just answering my phone. Sir, she is not Suzanne. From well, I I, I don't, am, and well, I I'm not having my flaws done. So well, no. research whoever it is because you're getting a misconnection. Oh no no, I've already started on the floors. I, I just got to finish. I got to buff and polish them out. That's all. Whereabouts? I, what address did you start on? Well, uh, are you not Suzanne? I Correct. Am. No, no, she is not Suzanne. I'm Suzanne. I don't know what's going on here, but she she's just popping in our line and listening to our calls. This is I, I don't know what's going on with her. Okay, well, um, you know, I was I was just letting you know we're just going to be a couple more days with with the floor thing. But I, I told you I have my family coming in from from out of town, and this needs to be done now. We, you know, um, we, you we know what? The... Hello. I don't know what you're playing. Playing? You are not Suzanne's from Farm. No. Don't call this nine well, again. I, well, you're not Good Suzanne. Night. I don't know what you're trying to play. Well, there we go. That was nice and confusing. Suzanne's going to have a fun time trying to figure that one out. Hello? Hello. Hi, Joan. Hello? Yeah, this is... Can I help you? This is Joan. Can I help you? Well, is there two people on the line? I'm confused. What's going on? Well, she just seems like she's having a stressful day. Hello. Hello. Yes, I, I, you hung up on me. I just, I'm calling. Yeah, but you're not saying anything. What? No, I. But who is this? I don't know who's calling. Uh, this is Ken Kniff from the Framing Store. All right. Well, this is Joan. Can I help you? Uh, I just wanted to let you know your framed poster's ready. Uh oh. I think we got we got and a cross on the lines here. I'm sorry. Who? I didn't. I didn't order any frame. Who's that lady? I'm. I'm so. I'm okay. So... See what? Do you see what's going on? This person who's on this line is the one who you're trying to talk to, but somehow you connected into me. Well, I don't know who you are, ma'am. My name is Zone. No, you're and not, because I'm Jones. Oh no, you're not Joan. Like, what? Why would we be connected on the line then? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Well, you're certainly not me. Bye, ma'am. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, Jonathan. Uh, no. Yeah, this can is, I help you? Well, this is Jonathan. I I don't know who that other lady is. Uh, that my name's Jonathan. Can I help you? Oh, hey, Jonathan. It's uh, Carol from the Framing Store. I, I, I'm calling to let you know we got your uh, your your, fra oh, your poster. It's second. all framed. I think you've. What is your name? Uh, my name is Carol. I'm from the Framing Store. And my name's Jonathan. It is. Yes. Isn't that interesting? I and don't what's know. your phone number? Who, which one of us are you asking? Who are you, lady? Like, uh, I'm just taking a call. My name. I know a Jonathan. Do you? Hmm. No, you don't know me. I don't know you. Who are you? I've been married to one for 50 years. Oh, you're not married to me. I'm not that old. 
No, you're not either, and you're using my phone number, so I think maybe you ought to stop it. Thank you anyway. What are you talking about, ma'am? Hello? (laughs) Can I ask, is this the same person that I talked to a few minutes ago? Um, I think so. I... Like, it's, is Pardon? That, my name's Jonathan. Who's this? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I <laughs> and you're calling from an eight six zero number. Um. Well, you called me, right? No, I didn't call you. You called me. Oh no, I didn't call you. I'm, I'm just sitting here watching the TV. Well, somebody called because I answered my phone. Okay, well, ma'am, I think you're crazy and or this something. Is the I, I am whole household. I am not married to you. No, this is a household. I, uh, I'm very glad you're not. Thank you. Now my husband is coming in the door right now. But you, your number called my number. Well, no, I, di- I didn't call you. Like maybe somebody, maybe there's a cross line or something. But I, I think you're just you're mistaken. Well, I have an eight six zero dash four six zero something. On my uh, caller ID, and you're telling me that you are Jonathan. Correct. Where yes. do you live, by the way? You must be a relative. Oh, I don't. I live on uh, Hill Road. No, you don't. That's where I live. Uh, no, I, ma'am. I think you're crazy. Like you need to take your pills or something. Gee, Winnickers. Uh huh. You live in Hill Road, Connecticut. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. I I was just getting a call yeah. from that framing shop. About my uh, poster I'm having framed, and that you were on my line, so I don't know why you're <laughs> why you're popping up on my line, but. Uh, and what's your phone number normally? Um. Well, you said you have it on caller ID, don't you? Well, that's the number that called me, but you're saying you live on road would not have an eight six zero chart. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm I'm in the t- I'm in the two zero three. Yeah, I know um, you are. Mm-hmm. Well, your phone, I'd take to hell you. You don't live here because if I knew you lived here, I'd know you, wouldn't I? Well, I, I don't know where you live. I live at Hill Road. And no, you don't. My, no, my you phone don't. Numbers so, uh, I'm sorry about that, but I don't know who you're trying to, you know, get a hold of. But don't give anybody our name because this is where we live. I won't pay any of your freaking bills, so stop calling. Thank you. I didn't ask you to pay my bills, lady. I was hoping she'd put the real Jonathan on. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Is this Svetlana? Hello? hello? Yeah, this yes. is this is Svetlana. Can I help you? Oh, hey. It's uh, Roy from the framing store. Uh, your your poster's done. We got your poster all framed. Oh, that that's great. I'll, I can, I can uh, pick it up probably tomorrow then, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, just, you know, any time. We, we open at 10. 10 in the morning. All right. I'll be there tomorrow sometime then. All right. Thank hello? you. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, hello. Who's this? Is there somebody else on the line? This is Rich. Oh, no, I don't yeah. know who that is. Uh, sir, who, who's this? Yeah, what's this in regards to? Oh, well, I was just answering my call. Uh, the, the framing store just called me. And you're, you're on my line now. Why are you on my phone line? No idea. Our phone rang. Okay. Yeah, I I called Svetlana, um, just about yeah, her. That's her. my that's my wife. What's it in regards to? Oh, I I am not this man's wife. I don't know who this man is. He just popped up on my line. No, no, no. My no. That my wife's here in the room with me. What's oh. this in regards to? Uh, I I was uh, I have a poster that I had framed, and uh, it's the framing shop. They're calling me, and frankly, oh, it's okay. not here. No, not... yeah, my, our phone rang for some reason. Sorry. Okay, but, but we picked up and you were on it. Okay, so which one of you is Fetlana then? Well, that that's me. Crap, he hung up. I like this approach better though. Just uh, answering simultaneously with the other person and then starting the conversation instead of being in mid conversation with each other, and then I don't have to read off of some stupid acting script. Here, let me try them right back. Hello, Hello. presidents. Oh, hi. Uh, is this Fetlana? Yeah. Yeah, this is Fetlana. Um, I'm, I'm, it's hey, the framing store again. stop calling here. Hello? 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 Who's that? I know it's oh. the junk phone calls. The what? Stop calling here right now. Y- you know what? I'm sorry. I don't... <laughs> what would she say? It's the junk phone calls? She has her suspicions about who's responsible. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Please check that you have dialed the number correctly. 
Remember, Connecticut now has two area codes, 203 and 860. This is a recording. Wow. They have two area codes now, everyone. Two area codes for one state. How crazy is that? That must be a really old recording. I'm pretty sure they have more than two now. Hi, this is the Paskey Residence where Jesus is Lord. Please leave a message. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, Melissa? Yeah, this is Melissa. I'm sorry. Uh, Is there two people on the line? I'm sorry. It's, uh, I'm hearing two people. Yeah, this is Melissa. Can I help you? Oh, hey, Melissa. It's, uh, Roy from the Walmart. I'm just calling Okay, let me tell you something. This is a scam because that is not Melissa's voice and this is not Melissa. Yeah, who so are this you? is a scam. What do you mean? So we I'm hanging up we didn't and say... I never should receive a call like this again. What are you talking about, ma'am? Oh, ma'am. Did she say that she's not Melissa? I'm so confused on that one. Hello? This better be about hiding a dead body, otherwise I don't want to know from you. What? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm calling from the Walmart. I was calling about your cactus. It's ready. My what? I'm sorry, who, who is this? My name is Leonora. Oh, hey, Leonora. It's, it's uh, Roy from the Walmart. Your cactus is ready. Okay, that's Hello? great. Hello? Is there two Hello? people? Are there two people on the... I'm calling from the Walmart. Is there two people on the line? I'm a little confused here. There shouldn't be. This is my my house phone. Okay, I don't know who that is, but you reached Leonora. Uh, I, no, you have not. I am Leonora. So I don't know who the hell you are, but I don't appreciate you ma'am. impersonating me. I, I'm not impersonating anyone. You're impersonating me. What are you doing on my phone line? I think no, this called... is my phone line. Give me your date of birth then, honey. Look, I don't know who either. I, I'm just calling for Leonora about the cactus it's at Walmart. It's it's ready. You can come pick it up whenever you're ready. So I which, didn't whichever... order a cactus. I ordered and the which, cactus which, because I am the real. Which Walmart is this? I am the real Leonora. I ordered no, the cactus. No, you're not. Wait, what are you? No, t- you're not. Ma'am, wait, maybe we just have the same name. I. I find I, that hard to believe. What's your date of birth? Why are you on my phone line? This is my phone line. What's your phone number? This is this is my phone line. My phone rang, and and you're no, on my here. my phone rang. And you're talking about no. dead bodies or something. Like I think you're some kind of a scam artist. No, I'm not. I'd like to know who it is that's impersonating me and calling me on my home phone. Okay, well, I'm sorry to bother both of you, but which who, Walmart whoever, is this? Whoever had the cactus uh, at Walmart? Which Walmart it's... are you? Okay, ma'am, you don't have to yell at me. I, I'm just calling. I'm to not le- yelling. I'm asking a question. What Walmart are okay, you? Okay, I'm just calling to let the real Leonora that the the cactus is ready, and she said that's fine, and I can just let you both go now, and you can figure Where, it out. Where, which, which Walmart is this? It, it's the one that you came and uh, ordered the cactus from. You came here in person and paid for it already. No, so it's it's ready to be not. picked up. No, yes, then she, someone is impersonating me, no, and I don't appreciate it. No, you're impersonating me, lady. I don't know who the hell you no, are. You I need to really get the not. fuck off of my phone line. No, you need to get the fuck off of mine, honey, and you need to stop stealing other people's identity. I, th- this has been my name since birth. I, where do you really? live? And, I, yeah, I, where are you? I, I'm in Connecticut. Where are you? I'm in Connecticut, too. I'm on <laughs> road. And, and no, you, you're not on <laughs> road, sweetheart. I'm standing right here on <laughs> Cut it you, out. You are full. You are full of shit, ma'am. I, I don't. No, you are I full of shit. And you, I will track you down. I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but I, I just, I just want to get my cactus. That, that's Unbelievable. all. Unbelievable. You've already given her too much information. No, she's already got it. She's claiming to Who be is that? at my address. What's your husband's name? My husband's name is Charles. Yeah. So, no. No. What's your date of birth? Quit asking me. What are you, an identity thief? Stop asking me so many no, questions. No, you are, and I will find you. Trust me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what game you're playing, sweetie. I really don't. I just, I, just, I, I ordered a ca- Is Walmart still on the line? Like, who, who do you have on the line? Is that someone there? No, ma'am. That, that's nobody here. That's on your end. Well, it's not on my end. She's not in my house. No, it's on my end. She's saying she lives at my address. Yeah, good luck. She's Come step out your door. Go she's ahead. Full of Come crap. On. What do you, no, what do you, you are. What, are you threatening me now? I, I just want to go no, to Walmart. No, I'm telling you to. I'm telling you to step out your door. If that's who you are, I will come step on. out my door. I'm going to step out my go door ahead. and go to Walmart and pick up my damn cactus. Mm-hmm. So you're going to go to the Walmart over in. Good. I'll meet you there. 
Oh, now, now this is just weird. Like, you better not cause any problems. I just go in there to no, get my you cactus. you better stop causing problems. I don't know who you are, but I will find out. If you, if you two are going to fight, you need to stay out of our store. Because, you know, this is Walmart. We, we can't have this kind of thing going on here. Yeah, no, this is called identity theft. But if that's the case, like I said, I will find out. You're the identity is. thief. No, you're you're the fake Leonora. So I'm the real one. No. Yeah, keep dreaming. You sweetie. probably don't even have a cactus. <laughs> Let me tell you where I'm going to put that cactus on you, sweetie. Go ahead. Now you go ahead. Tell me. Tell me where you're going to put it. Oh, meet me there. Go ahead. Meet me at the customer service desk. I, I think your husband's right. You need to shut the fuck up and get off the phone, lady. No, you need to shut the fuck up. Because you're, you're I will saying, definitely report you. Well, you're saying your husband's name is Charles, and my husband's name is Charles. Yeah, no, you are a fake person. I am not a fake person. I, my, I, this has been my name since birth. Who, who no. are you to say that I'm a fake person? You are a fake person. And you live at this, my address. This is, a, this is a scam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead with what? I'm, I'm going to Walmart right now. I can't wait. Okay, well, you need to stay the fuck out of the cactus department, because I'm going there to yeah. get my cactus. Go ahead. I'll see you there. Okay. Oh, shit. Leonora is headed out to Walmart to find out where people pick up their cactuses. And I don't know if you listeners could hear the husband in the background that well, because he was pretty faint, and I was talking over him. But there appeared to be a struggle at some point. And he was yelling at her about giving out too much information. I'm going to replay that part right now, but I'm going to uh, up the audio a little bit so you can hear it. And I'll take out my side of the conversation. I'm in Connecticut. Where are you? What the fuck are you doing? No, you're not on road, sweetheart. I'm standing right here on Cut it out. Turn that fucking phone off. No, you are full of shit. And you, I will track you down. Listen. Unbelievable. You've already given him too much information. No, she's already got it. She's claiming to be Leonora at my address. What's your husband's name? I don't know if that was a struggle. I don't know. Like, he's like, turn that fucking call off to her. Like, not again, honey. We've already done this once before. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, Kristen? Hello? Yes, this, this no, is Kristen. This I'm sorry, is there... No, this is not Kristen. Kristen hasn't had this phone number in over four years. Oh, well, somebody else four years. said her name's Kristen. Is there two people on the line? I'm very confused. No, it's not. Well, yeah. No, I, I'm on the line. She has not had this number. No, my, my name is Kristen. Uh, who's calling? Oh, th this is uh, Ken from the Walmart. Uh, your cactus is ready. You can come on and pick it up whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, great. And this is and this is Christine, and I've had this number three six, and I've been getting hundreds of calls for Kristen, and I'm really getting tired of it. I wish you would change your number. Thank you very much. Oh no, that, that's my num That's my phone number. Oh, there must be a misspelling on this list or something. Here, let me try her right back. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. And she's not picking up anymore. Sounds like she's really getting annoyed with those calls for Kristen. I don't know why only the females are picking up. I'm calling lots of males on this list, too. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Like that one was supposed to be a male, but he turned his number off. By the way, thank you, Lee, for sending this list to me back in 2015. It's a big old list of names and phone numbers and addresses that's worked out fairly well. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Is, yes. this, is this Kevin? Yes. Yeah, this is Kevin. Oh, hey, Kevin. Uh, I'm calling from the Walmart. I'm just calling to let you know that your cactus is ready. My what is? Oh, okay, great. The cactus is ready. I, um, can I come there tonight and pick that up? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Are there two people on the line? I thought I heard someone else. Yeah, damn it. There was a guy on the line, but he just hangs up like a sensible person. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Is this Amy yep. Lynn? Yes, this is yep. Amy. Oh, no, this is Amy Lynn. Can I help you? Wait, I'm sorry. Is there two people on the line? I'm calling from the Walmart. Uh, uh, yeah, you um, somehow it sounds like you've got two phone numbers here. And well, this is Amy. I don't... Well, no, my name's Amy Lynn. Oh, okay. Uh, that's who yes. I needed to talk uh, to. Uh, nope, that's my name. No, that that's my name, ma'am. My name is Amy Lynn. I live uh, here. No. 
That is not your name. Well, uh, or it may be your name, but that's my name. I don't know who you are. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm calling to let you know that the cactus is ready. You can come on and pick up the cactus. Um, it's already paid for. Just stop by and pick it up. It'll be at the service desk. Okay, I... What I telephone can... number were you trying to call? Uh, I called the 236. Yeah, that's my number. That's... No, that's my number. Oh, no, that's that's my number. The six number, that's mine. Where, where do you live? I, I live on road. Yeah, that, that's what we have here in the order form. Yeah, your cactus is ready. Um, but, sir, can, I think there's some fraud going on because um, I don't know what's going on, but that's who I am. Oh, no. And the other person on this line is not an Amy. And if they used my credit card, then you've got some fraud. Oh, well, it looks like this This was paid with cash. So I don't think it's fraud. I'm, I'm just like, it's paid for. Everything's ready. You can just come and pick up your, your cactus. It's, it's all ready. Because yeah, the I'm, person, the other person on the line here is not on. Their name is not my name. Ma'am, I don't know who I you are, you but I, I, I'm, I'm live on. I've lived here for 15 years. And you, you don't tell me where I live. I know where I live. <laughs> Lily, I, I can tell you exactly where I'm standing, and you are not me. So I well, don't know who you are. You're not but me. You are. You don't have my phone number, so she just hangs up. Well, guess what? That is the very last one that I can get to pick up. I've tried every number on this list twice now, and I think I'm just going to end the show now. I, I know uh, this is going to be a short one. I will keep the voicemails short so that they're not longer than the pranks, because that'd be crazy. And maybe we'll try some more of this tomorrow or something. But thank you again for the list, Lee, back in 2015, if you're still a listener. I have fun with this idea. It just sucks that, um, I don't know, I get so many people to just hang up while I'm having a conversation with myself. And then a bunch of these didn't answer, so I'll be coming back to this list to try them again. It sucks, because we had a Natalie on this list. I could have been all like, Natalie, Natalie, you're Jewish, and that is why naturally. But nope, she wouldn't answer either of the times I called her. Hi, Roy. What you doing? Oh, nothing. It's your buddy, Butthole Winker 34 from Omaha. Hey there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrote you a little Halloween poem. I hope you like it. Oh, yeah. Now, there's two verses to this poem so i'm just gonna go ahead and start right now right, hurry the fuck up okay it's that time of year when a witch will cast a spell that's nothing compared to that evil roger bell sure there's ghosts goblins and maybe a skeleton but the most frightening of all is roy he lives across from you off 43rd and pelican <laughs> cactus cactus i like it Good job on that poem. It's nice when people actually remember the pelican thing that I did forever, right after I got raided by the FBI. Hey Brad, this is Corgi Wave Station again. I just hey. wanted to say that I straight up belly laughed at your latest hobo sode. And anybody who's thinking of subscribing to the hobo sodes and they're on the fringe, just do it because sometimes they're even better than the snowplow shows. They're always they're amazing. Better. All right, Brad, keep on doing what you're doing. Thanks. Bye. I only give the crappy material to these snowplow show people. All the best stuff is saved for the hobo sodes. No, that's not always true. But the latest hobo sode, I think I mentioned this on the last show, is probably my favorite recent hobo sode. There were just two really great people in there that I talked to. They were a lot of fun. So if you haven't signed up yet, please do that. Five dollars per month. You can just pay for one month and download over 200 hobo sodes and then just quit forever. Maybe join up again in another couple years and download all the new ones. How am I going to stop you? Hey, Brad, this is F in Reality calling from, you know, Colorado. Hey, F in Reality. Look, man, uh, I wanted to compliment you on your uh, camera work lately. I've enjoyed the backgrounds of the shows. Oh, I don't know thanks. if anyone's told you that. I yeah. wanted to get an update from you. Usually they just make fun of me for crashing my bike into a pond. But yeah, I bought a GoPro and I've been filming a lot of things and making that the background on the YouTubes. So if you're only a podcast listener, you're missing out on that. Possible. I was listening to some old episodes, and on one of the episodes, you were convincing a neighborhood that they were becoming a sovereign uh, nation. Yeah. And they were that. all having a meeting about it, and you were going to go down in uh, a month or two, check their website, and see if they talked about you or not during that meeting. I wasn't sure if we ever got an update on that. And yeah, we did. This is a request for that. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I checked, and there was, um, I mean, like, there were different types of meeting notes, and some of them were password protected, so I couldn't get into them. And, like, the ones that weren't password protected 
didn't have any special information in them. So I never got to find out what happened at that meeting. I'm sure it was a lot of fun, though. I wish I could have been there. Next, we've got a person that's left five voicemails in a row. And what happens when there are five voicemails in a row? I pick the shortest one and I delete the rest without listening to them. Let's see what this guy had to say in his 34 second voicemail. Hey, John Ball Irific. I'm a liar. <laughs> what? Anyway, uh, Olga, fuck you. I oh, okay. changed my name back in the Discord. Are all five of your voicemails just to yell at Olga? I'm not a liar. All right. And uh, I killed XYZ. I shot him in the face. So all don't right. tell anybody about that. And okay. I'm not a liar. And you're going to change my yeah, name back? I don't know what you're talking about. But going by your voicemail, I can tell that you were probably being a completely normal person in the Discord and you totally didn't deserve to have whatever happened to you happen. I can't believe the injustice that you've suffered. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey. Oh, hi, Brad. Hey. That song that you had on the uh, last show that you did, I think yeah. I hear some Cindy Loper in it. Remember that Cindy Loper song? Yeah, goes, yeah. I remember Cindy Loper. Time after time. It was that was in The Simpsons as well, but it's a oh. it's a good song. Am I, I right? Not aware of that? That, 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 that. that time after time. I don't remember playing that song in a recent show. Was that hold music or something? So, oh, I and, and, and I love your social security prank number. I think if you keep using Rappy's number, well, social security number, it should you, be okay. Yeah. Bye. All right. When Rappy sues me, I'll just tell him you said it was okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's listen to one more voicemail. Hey, Roy, it's Dozer. How's it going, man? Oh, hey, Dozer. Uh, I was on my way home from work. I met Dozer in Chicago. I remember Dozer. The show, like always, smoking on my weed pen. Then the battery died. Oh, no. That's terrible. Anyway, I just wanted to call. This is kind of a late voicemail. I wanted to call and say uh, that the the meetup in Chicago was fun as fuck. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, glad I got to come and hang out for a little while and get a uh, some free swag. That was pretty cool. Got my ID hanging Next up. Next time you need to bring Death Fox with you. That would be hilarious. On my lamp. And I got to meet you and Carlito and Giad and uh, Dwight. And that was freaking really cool. So, yeah. yeah. And I got a free poster Good from times. um from Dwight that you guys all signed, too. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Anyways, boys, now getting Actually, really- that was from Giad. Don't give Dwight credit for that. That was from Giad. Giad had those posters printed up. So you need to tell Giad how awesome he is. Long, I just wanted to say thank you. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys at the next meetup. Yep. Keep up the great work. Hopefully. Uh, Cactus. If there is one. Hang up the dance. You hang it up. Yeah, Chicago was awesome. It was nice to meet you, Dozer. It was nice to meet everyone there. I know Portland's going to be kind of a smaller event, but hopefully there'll be some people that show up there that I've never met before. And I can get them to sign my PLA book. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have a cold right now. I'm going to be editing out all of my sniffling throughout the show, if I can. But if you come to the meetup this weekend, you might catch my cold. Like, after we shake hands, be sure to lick your hands, and it'll be like we're the same person. We're sharing the same cold. That's what I would do if I was you. Thank you, another prank call show and Tokius Pocus, Jesse Lobster, the stunning Kruger effect, and Jim Dusky for sponsoring today's episode. Sorry it was so short. I spent a while on these and then it kind of got too late. So I just want to get this finished and put out tonight. And to make matters worse, I don't know if I'm going to get another show out this week. I mean, I'm sure I'll get a hobo so done. So there's another reason to sign up on Patreon. But this is going to be a busy week for me. Uh, Besides the meetup, I've got some other shit going on. I will try to get two more shows out this week, but no promises. It might have to be two hobo sods instead, or maybe just one hobo sod. I don't know. Thanks for listening, everyone. Be sure to follow the Twitter for the meetup this weekend. Twitter.com slash phone losers. I'm going to end the show with a song that Pat D sent to me. This is called Helicopter Pattern. Yeah, no, you are a fake person.